Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 52 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. Before we go and visit the... Yes? That bog in the tower in it, we have a couple things to do here. We've collected a lot of our broken weapons, which we're going to take apart for shards. A broken doll. Well, that probably won't be the last of them either. Yes. Oh yes, our flame claw. We've made good use of that. But more importantly, this is our improved red ring, which we can use to attack people with. Yes. Although more frequently we use our capture rope instead. I have some kind of flame bow for Fia? I didn't even realize. Oh, awesome. This is Eel's holy sword. And Kisner's holy sword. Kisner's improved fire sword. Yeah, I'm liking this. Now I could also go for... Rishu's holy so shields. They'd be less expensive than this. This will be fine. Yes. Yes. Sugida. So, without any further ado... Let's take the next level of the bog. So, as we're going up into the next level, we hear a familiar voice. This prick. Well, greetings, insects! You are certainly extremely persistent. Etc, etc. They should be... We should be tired from our successive battles, but are we doing well? まさか So, he's rather surprised that we defeated the Shisho no Roki. Remember the floating tentacle ghost woman thing in the bog? Even his spirit mage can't control that thing, and we managed to defeat it. So we're awesome. Oh, incidentally, he calls us rebels against Influence Kingdom. Well, yeah, his voice is just full of contempt for us. Gilch, it's good to see you. I mean, uh, so all of our ghost problems, you've been pulling the strings on, haven't you? You really have a way of disregarding other people's sacrifices. By the way, there are people from the Influence Kingdom on the castle now, so you should probably knock off trying to indiscriminately kill people. It'll lower your popularity even lower. Ah, he's got a point. If they're working for Arvaro, they aren't the people of influence anymore. They are criminals. So, is there any need for him to care about them? Well, he's saying that like he cared about his people when they were his people. But... Look, you're a prick. You draw civilians into battles and shit. So, he's gonna lecture Avaro on how to handle a war. And the basics of it is to get the best 
get the greatest success out of the least sacrifice. Hey, Navarro doesn't understand this, I guess. Although he shouldn't be sacrificing non-combatants. Hmm. Well, that's what Navarro thinks anyway. What the hell do we pay taxes for in this kingdom anyway? People like you? Yeah, okay, two of you knock it off. And anyway, we haven't paid any taxes, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're kind of an independent country. Uh, uh, anyway, does that mean that the ghost wielder was this prince here? Hmm. Yeah. What are you misinterpreting here? Do you think he would use any kind of spirits? The one manipulating spirits is another. And that's the one who's gone through the trouble so far. And that person is this. Stepping out from behind Gilsh. Although I mean, her dress is, poo dress is poofy enough we'd be able to see most of her anyway. Oh, if I remember, sir. We meet again. Although it isn't a coincidence by any means. So, the ghost wielder was Rosaline, huh? Bingo. <laughs> Were you surprised? Yes. Very much so. From the first impression she gave off, Navarro certainly wouldn't have guessed she was... Well, behind all of this. What are you doing? The hell are you making small talk? <laughs> Do you know this guy? Well, we're not friends or even acquaintances. We spoke once. Alright, so... They don't give any pause to your attacks. These guys are the enemies of Infru's kingdom. Hey. He'll just casually declare anyone an enemy, wouldn't he? Alright, so he's got a choice for Avaro. Uh, incidentally, he wants to tell Avaro that he's foolish. And this is an opportunity for him. So, if he releases authority over the castle to him and swears allegiance, then he can save his neck. And if he refuses... Well, he'll just cut you to pieces. Isn't he? Aren't you glad? Or maybe we should take some time and bash you to bits over a period and you'd like that more. Choose the way you like. This isn't any kind of negotiation. There's no benefit to me in either way. And anyway, either way is the execution. Of course it is. Did you honestly think you had any standing to enter negotiations with Gilsh of all people? So, our sins are apparently quite 
unforgivable. And as a king, he has to, well, execute us. Eh? So, what exactly crimes did we commit here? Well, there are several, but the ones that are most prominent are rebelling against the king and defaming him. So is he a prince or a king? Come to think of it, he's the only one who calls himself a king. Everybody calls him at best, your highness. Uh, anyway, hey, I believe I told you already that the way that your war plan failed was something you brought on yourself. Oh, did we offend you? <clears throat> so, it was meaningless trying to talk to Avaro. Kill them, Rosaline. Wait a minute. You think we're going to let you go run away? So, let me run. How foolish. The ones who aren't going to be allowed to run are us, not him. So, apparently we think we've already won and we've only just come in. Oh, we're so foolish. <laughs> in actuality, we got lured into a trap. So, while chasing us in here, we've actually gotten ourselves surrounded in the home, enemy's home base. We're like a bunch of insects flying into a fire. So, us fools, in our successive battles, have lost a lot of energy. So, that's proof of how foolish we are. So, now it's time for us to die. Rosaline, do the honors. So, Gils gets out of there and we try to chase him, but... Okay, Rosaline, get out of the way, please. Oops, wrong button. Ah, she can't. So, she's the spirit mage that the Influence Kingdom uses. And the people who oppose the royal family, she has to punish. So, and that is even if it's somebody who has done no harm. Well, at least she'll recognize that. Oh, come on. Why don't you just stop attacking the castle? We don't want to fight you anyway. So, so, it's a sweet enticement he's offering, and it's true that there is no reason for her to fight her, us. Oh wait, I just realized, her boobs are way too big. Wait, I'm not easily distracted at all. Okay, then. So, Rosaline, 
ギルシュを許すことはできる Well, if it were only Rosalina here, I don't think she would be doing anything, but she's curious if, she, if we can forgive Gilch for what he's done. Uh, no. Not only has he attacked the castle a couple of times, and he furthermore got peaceful and un. Peaceful people who couldn't, couldn't fight involved in things. This is pretty well unforgivable. And not even something we can leave alone. So on the one hand there's forgiving and on the one, other hand is not going through the trouble of punishing. And he's not on either level. <laughs> So, it's a crime to not grow, she thinks. But anyway, she's always getting these uh, impossible answers. Well, no matter what kind of unreasonable order she's given, it's unforgivable to disobey the king. That's what kind of kingdom this is. So, Avaro says that someone who misuses his citizens like that doesn't have any qualification to be king. Well, the bloodline is also a form of power. Even if it's someone like him, he does have the blood of the Ruth royal family in him. So this battle is a fate from which we cannot escape, and we've had enough questions and answers, so let's get started. So, Rosaline is the doll who obeys the orders of her, the will of her master. And she's going to erase the people who rebel against the royal family. <coughs> Even though you don't really want to do it. She doesn't need well. Well, she is the manager of the way of flowing spirits. And all the people who die and find their way into the in here she counsels and plays with and in order to fulfill that she does what she has to now oh, incidentally she's just a criminal so, we get to play with these kids. They are so lonely after all. So lonely and so jealous that the people who have bodies, they just tear them apart. Alright, so let's follow Gilsh. Well, I've already knows his priorities. So she won't let us follow him. Especially if it's Avaro. Whatever that's supposed to mean. So why is she so fervent in being allies with him anyway? Anata no koto 
Well, when Ghost talks about you, he always smiles, haven't you noticed? Uh, no. <laughs> Alcohol certainly hasn't. And that's kind of freaky. So on a certain level, she doesn't want us to meet with Gilsh because the effects will be too great. And if he gets any more twisted, it would be bad. So, what's she trying to say here? So, Gilch hasn't had a lot of uh, setbacks in his life, and we are actually the first people to raise a flag against him and not get, fall down immediately. So, it's only natural that he's a bit out of sorts compared to what his usual is. So Gil, as he was growing up, could put responsibility for failures on uh, everybody else around him and take responsibility for successes all to himself. And in that sort of in that sort of environment being raised, he did end up a bit twisted. But the, having a ball uh, around is really giving him his worst days. Okay, we're tired of talking about Gills. Avora wants to talk to Rosaline. She doesn't want to fight, she's admitted it. If you would just talk to us about what you need, we could actually work something out. Well, there's no need for us to know. Because we're going to end our lives here. For Gilsh's sake. Well, this is getting nowhere. Did you just figure that out, Pia? Okay, yes. All the ghost problems they've had at the castle was all done by this girl at the behest of the prince. Does it bother you, Rosaline? And her circumstances? Well, yes. It seems that she isn't cooperating with Gilch by her own will. There's something that makes her... There's something where she can't disobey him. <laughs> of our things. Well then, let's just verify that. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. But first we're gonna have to defeat her and get to Gilch. All right, we're going to rough you up a little bit, and we're going to get all of the info out of you. After beating Gilch. So, oh crap. Let's see. You. These are actually pretty tough battles in a in ahead of me. I don't know, sixteen times two. Soften these guys up for real, will you? Yeah, that'll do. 
capture. Well, it happens. Oh, I miss the days when I just played games for my own way. I would totally have, like, everybody over-leveled and have, like, way too high stats for their levels besides. Oh, the good old days. Oh, yeah, it's going to be important to have my engineers out so that we can repair crap. Um, Mikeu isn't going to be very useful around here. She just dies too fast. Tayo, sunflower. Not like what we would call a sunflower either, it's a different kind of sunflower. In Japanese, that's Himawari. Ah, crap. There's a really bad fire enemy right ahead of this space, so I don't want anybody who isn't fairly good with fire going down south of where she got. Let's see. Navarro is got a little bit. Anybody else? Anybody? Oh yeah. Rishu is a little bit resistant to fire as well. Hmm. You're not important. Hurry up and die. This is the problem. Okay, yeah, yeah, he can take this. You need to be faster, Yorin. <laughs> Muscles! <laughs> Isn't this guy hilarious? Yeah, may as well keep it on. Uh, go ahead and counterattack. <laughs> Crap, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Don't give me that laugh. You just killed someone I wanted to capture. Jackass. <laughs> Well, I don't want to stand on the trap, so... Sigh. You know, he's already taken a lot of damage, hasn't he? What the hell? Oh, I know what happened. But anyway. Well, I do want you all around. Once we get past this flame lizard, we'll be... pretty well... Oh, mining. Are you going to capture it this time, Yorin? <laughs> Stupid camber attacks. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time for some healing. Oh man, look at the lifts he makes. Ah, uh, anyway. Priorities. Large healing potions are awesome. Man, he's hardly making a dent in that guy though. Well, that's a third of his life. So it's a dent, sure. Hmm. 
Well, keep at it. Huh. He doesn't use that very often, but that was a pretty effective attack. You know what? I don't like this guy, so I'm gonna kill it hard. Well, as long as it doesn't counter, everything's good. Now, the bad news is, if it decides to attack Kisnir, she won't be able to attack back, because that's a fire attack. Well, she won't be able to meaningfully attack back. This thing has a ranged attack, but it's one of those area effect things. And Eel, while vulnerable to fire, is actually in a safe spot from that particular attack. See? See? Hey, that healed Yorin. After I gave him a potion, damn it. Ah. Well, it happens. Okay. We want to think about how we're going to capture this jerk soon. Actually, it's better to be using physical attacks. Another reason why I'm leaving Mikeu behind this time. Perfect. Kill it, Yorin. And capture his ass. <laughs> Mythical Beast's Fang. Hmm. Oh. I'm just going to call her out, get a heal, and then send her back the next turn. Well, a little bit of... What's it? Paralysis? Oh god, another giant flame lizard. Oh. <clears throat> the bad news is this person is going up against Heal, who has a ghost killer sword. Hmm. A charm ghost. Uh, charm ghost soul shard. Hmm. Oh crap. With my characters in this formation, it's going to do another one of those area attack effects. It's a good thing I decided to heal Fia. It's a good thing I healed for you. Oh man. Look fine. We'll keep her around for another turn. Oh yeah. How shall I do this? Well. Um. The fire sword is more suited to the construct there. Hmm. And we'll have. No. Oh. Heal Fia again. Oh. 
Perfect. This is 13 times 2. And he dies, unless he reflects. You bastard. Uh, it's a good thing Nisha has so much defense. But I mean, the trouble of knocking down these guys' hit points. It's just hilarious. Ridiculous. <sighs> and this guy. They're only supposed to reflect like 10% of the time. Which means up to now. There would be only a 50% chance, give or take, of even getting one, and he sent it to me twice. Die, bastard, die. I'm going to murder something in their sleep. Okay, I don't know how long a cooldown that splash, that area of effect attack has, so I'm not going to risk keeping Eol in its area. Hmm. Well, can't be helped. Let's just have her defend. Oh, son of a bitch. Take backs. You know, if not for those stupid impossible repeated reflects, she'd be just fine right now. I'm gonna keep complaining about that, I hope you don't mind. Actually. Hmm. There isn't actually much better spot for Fia than that. So keep punching, guys. Mm-hmm. Holy sword. Ah, well, this could be better. Doing 19 crap. Mm, yeah, it isn't going to die yet. Now it's about time for it to die. Huh. This is a mythical beast's claw. Eh. Yeah, waste of a shot. Still a waste of a shot. Oh, good job, Ranin. Go away. Hmm. Well, they both do nothing. Geez, we just have too little space for all of our guys. Here we go. <laughs> oh crap, traps.
Has mm. uh, she been... Yeah, she's been hit with paralysis. Well, I think you can guess there's another flame hydra down there. They're called dark dark hydras for some reason. But anyway. This won't be quite close enough for Fia to actually attack it properly. Heal should be safe in this spot for a moment. Watch me tell myself I'll pull him out next turn and then not get to him until turn 18 or something. You stinking ugly bat face. Huh. <laughs> Well, at least Fia gets to attack it. Okay, 16. <clears throat> yeah, this will work. Bad news, buddy, you just wandered into range of all of my best fighters. 18 times 3. As long as she doesn't get a critical hit, we still get to capture it. <laughs> Maybe it would have killed it even without the critical. Oh. Mm. On the one hand, capturing it. On the other hand, keeping this awesome drop. I'll keep the awesome drop. I can't just let that get away. Heal is my best bat killer. Because she's got a high attack. Because she hits so often. Okay, normally she hits a lot. Okay. Duh. Stupid bat dodging bats. Oh, oh, oh. I remember. Oh, yeah, this. Ha ha. Okay, pull back your in and you can heal in the backstage for a while. That's it, I've got two minings and there are two gatherings left. So that must be these. Let's leave it to heal. Hey, sweet. Hmm? Hmm? 
行動開始だナッツ If they were a little closer Actually Kisnir has a ghost killing sword Can she kill it? Yes, yes she can Okay, Kisnir is in range of those I think Yeah, they have four movement But she's a full life and she's got an awesome sword for killing him with so I think she'll be okay I hope she'll be okay Please be okay, Kisnir The annoying thing about ghosts is the way they teleport in and teleport out. Case in point. Now, I have better characters for taking their attacks. For instance, Rishu. <laughs> But only Kisnir can pull that kind of stunt off. I think both of my engineers are going to be occupied for a few. Uh -oh. So, she's not letting us get to Gilsh. Okay, take backs. I think Fia has enough life to survive that if I heal her up. Oops. Uh, here. Here. Alright, you don't have to tell me twice. Holy shit, how much did she? Holy shit. Okay, we're good. Everything's good. Next up, I want to draw these stone golems out. And maybe the Trent Maiden. One, two, three. Huh. Troublesome, troublesome. Unfortunately, she can't use that attack again for a while. Oh, I forgot to have... I've already fixed that other one. Oh well. Oh, uh, who did I... Perfect. Other than barely being able to scratch him. Why do I have to deal with these enemies with stupid insane quantities of health? Uma. Yep. Pull back for now. Yorin, you'll get the other one out. Oops. And so we've drawn that one that far. We'll draw it in further. Let's 
Well, something so slow that Yorin gets three attacks on it. Yeah, pull back. Oh. And let's have Ron and heal up the uh You're in, uh good job. Thanks a bunch. Everything's in order. No, no, no. Code Kaisha. Nope. I've done better. But those are the options. Oh crap, it has determination. Uh, no, bad idea. Crap, that won't work either. Uh... Detail. Great. Oh yeah, keep healing Fia. Oh, keep healing everybody, really. And stupid determination skill. Do something useful, Avaro. This is marginally better than before. 10, 16, 10. She'll be doing like two damage. And taking like 40? Yeah, I'll pass. Oh, a ranged attack. Oh, great. Code <clears throat> Kaisha. All right, Fee, I'm going to need you to take down this thing because odds are good nobody else can do it without getting killed. No, no. Oh, it's been a while. No, no. Well, you can try. She's only going to do one damage, but she's also taking like one damage as well. Oh yeah, detail. You get a free shot. You won't do much damage. Ha. Huh. That's how bad it is, huh? Look, you can look forward to Fia kicking your ass next turn, Golem. Especially with this plus four buff she has. Suck it! Hi! 
Hey, pearl steel. I don't think I'll be able to mine that for quite a while. Hmm. I would like to avoid this, but Eel is probably the best suited to taking the ranged attack that's going to come from Rosalie next turn. If I'm lucky, the stone golem will stand here so the Fia can kill it as well. Well, hell, let's give it a choice. Perfect. What? That's my stone golem! You killed my stone golem! <sighs> Well, time to pack it in, everybody. Oh. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Fortunately, her hit rate is really low. Hmm, bad idea. Oh, that was Fia. And still, yes, a bad idea. Cut it down, Kisnir. Ah, <laughs> Now, this Trent Maiden is actually a healing unit, so it's probably going to start healing Rosaline if I let it live. Oh, this is a bad idea. Uh, 40 something. I may have to reload and load her up with Yuiki. Okay, that was good. That was good. Good things happened. Of which that was one of them. Now obviously it likes to attack Fia because it does a ton of damage to her. But it's not going to take into effect all these Yuiki effects. Mm. Well, better than... Wait, that Trent Maiden didn't even attack anybody. I guess since it had nobody to heal, it had nothing to do. And it's easy. 13 times 3. Well, just in case she takes a hit. Well, maybe Thea isn't the best choice. No, I never think of this, but actually physical attacks are way better on her than magic attacks. How often does that happen? It's 
3 attacks, down 13 damage, and she doesn't even counter. Uh, and her boss killer skill took effect as well. So, time to kill that thing behind her, because I just can't stand to let these things get away. Ouch. Okay. I don't even know why Avaro is here. If I had a good lightning attack, I could kill that thing pretty quick, but I don't. Everybody gang, uh, maybe not with that attack. Non-elemental. A little better. <coughs> Is there anything, anybody who can do damage to this thing? Well, keep up the hurt, guys. Oh, you're useless. I know, Buffy. Hey, that's a pretty good level up. Nope, too early for that. Heal, can you do damage? A little bit. Well, dodge like crazy, that's your thing. Perfect. Oh, I should have healed her. Hopefully she'll probably be safe. Maybe. Ha 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 ha. That And now I have a run of Aro out of spell points of all things. Heal, can you do enough damage now? Not bad. It's a nine nine. Ah, nuts. Thirteen, twenty-three, too much. Oh, 
But you know what, I will heal you there. Before I let her get killed. Hmm? Dodge heal! Like your life depends. It did depend on it and you didn't dodge. Haha. There should be a law against that. See, that is exactly what you needed to do. Alright, full power buff. You'll capture this thing. Haha, <laughs> good girl. And the last words on our lip are an apology to Gilsh for failing him. Well, at least she passed out. So we don't have to hurt her anymore. Next up, Gilsh. <laughs> Let's put an end to this. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> well, whatever he's got to say, I'm going to call it a day. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.